I could stop the time Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be setting up the Tetra 2.5 gallon aquarium. Now this aquarium is very very basic Basically, when you go to the store, you can find this tank for about $10 to $20 and it is simply the tank itself. It doesn't come with anything, not even a lid or lights. So two and a half gallons for most fish keepers is the minimum tank size for a betta. So if you're looking to get a betta and you want a tank that's not too big but still meets the minimum, then I would recommend this if you don't want anything too fancy. In this video, I'm going to be using the Topfin 10 watt betta tank heater. Um, I'm using this just clip-on top fin LED aquarium light and I am using some craft mesh for the lid and for a filter I am using a sponge filter. I did get the sponge filter from my cousin so I'm not entirely sure what brand it is but I do recognize the air pump as being a Tetra product. I had basically filmed this setup and then I didn't get the filter until a few days later so I didn't film it but I, I do promise that, as you can see uh, right behind me there, um, there is a filter in this tank. So as always, when you first start setting up a tank, you're going to want to wipe it down. Now, this is especially true if you're setting up this tank for a second or third time and it has been used before, but you also want to do it if it comes from the pet store because you never know if there's going to be any dust or debris or anything from the pet store that you won't want in your aquarium. So I always just wipe it out with a damp cloth and then I dry it out. Next, you're going to want to add substrate and smooth it out. I am using just some top fin aquarium rocks, but you can use many different types of substrate. You can use river rocks, you can use the gravel that I am using here, uh, you could also use some gems if they're aquarium safe, and you could also use sand or dirt. Once again, you're going to want to make sure that they're washed before you add them into your tank. I would still recommend washing them if they're brand new, even if the bag says pre-washed, because sometimes you'll find out that they're still very dusty or have very small gravel pieces that float. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this tank did not come with a lid and therefore did not come with any lights either. I went ahead and used this top thin clamp light. Uh, it was, I think, maybe 20 bucks or so. It was not that hard to get and the light that it gives off is pretty good. Um, it is magnetic, so I just put one side on the outside of the aquarium and one side on the inside, and they just snap together and then holds onto the side of the tank. Now, what kind of lights you use is up to you, but I do strongly recommend this. Um, it has worked very well for me, and I don't have any complaints. This is also where I went ahead and added the heater. Um, like I also mentioned at the beginning, it did not come with the heater. The heater that I choose to use is the Top Fin 10 Watt Beta Tank Heater. I do have a review on that on my channel, so if you want to see what my opinions are on that, um, go check out that video and I'll put it in the iCards. But to keep it brief, this is the heater that I strongly recommend. I had already used it before, so I didn't have to open it or anything, so I just simply suction cupped it to the side of my aquarium and that was it. That is pretty much how most small heaters will be installed. Now this would be the part where I would add the filter. Because I didn't have the filter yet in this footage, I was not able to film it. The installation of the filter is very dependent on the type of filter you have, so I can't really go into depth on how to do so. So now that the technical part's out of the way, you can get to the fun part, which is decorating your tank. Um, this is always my favorite part, of course, because this is the part where you get to be more creative. At the time, I kind of had um, quite a big cactus theme going on in that room, so I had this top thin cactus that I added. Unfortunately, the cactus ornament that I have is not really in good shape anymore, which is kind of a pity because I haven't even had it that long. It's maybe been like four months or so, but I'm contemplating throwing it out. I also added a lava rock. Lava rocks are great for natural filtration. To extend with the natural theme, I decided to live plant my tank. One plant that I decided to try out was something called Lucky Bamboo. Now, Lucky Bamboo comes in a curved version, which is what I have, or curled, whatever you want to call it, spiral, um, and then there is just a straight version. Now, one thing about this plant is it actually doesn't get completely buried in your tank. The leaves and most of the stalk have to be out of the water, but the roots have to be in the water. Now, how it was wrapped was basically a, just a moist paper towel. I know I use the word moist, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a moist paper towel that was just wrapped around the roots and all I had to do was take that off and put it into, into the aquarium just like that. It was very easy to plant. 
The second and last plant that I chose to put in the tank was just some java fern. Java fern is a classic, great for beginners and also great for low light tanks. Java fern, once again, is just kind of placed on top of the substrate. You don't want to bury this one. Um, so I just placed that in the tank and that was pretty much it to planting. Now when I added the plants, this is where I learned that I didn't like how things were laid out. So I did go around and rearrange a few things. Once everything was the way I like it, I just went and filled it up with water. Now I don't show it on camera, but I did use some water conditioner as always to make sure that my water was safe for my fish. Now that is pretty much the whole setup process of this tank. Um, the only problem is that you have to go out and get these items yourself. So you will have to do a little bit of research, trying to make sure that you have everything and that you're getting good quality products. But that is all for today. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye guys.